Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, appreciate the support. Channel is doing well. Um, I still have a whole lot to do when it comes to sharing content. The last video, maybe the video before last, uh, a buddy of mine, Seth, said that he didn't see many axes. So, I thought I would do an axe video. Also, um, another friend of mine, Adam Fry, asked me to show my axe setup. And I've been busy, I haven't been able to do it, but this is a good time to do it. So I like uh, a boy's axe, is what it's referred to commonly. And I like about, I don't like no more than 30 inches of handle on my axe, really. I like, I like something short that you can work with. This is what I would consider a hatchet. It's small. But it's a, it's a Holtzbert. These guys are getting sharp. It's turpentine style head on this dude. And what I do with all of my axes is I carve a good bit with them. So all of them have this jute wrap on my axis and I have more than this but this was just what I could put in one hand and bring out here and also what I do not only do I do a jute wrap because you can I really like it I like the way it feels personally um, it's not really an overstrike guard um, this would work better than leather I think though, because it's basically made like fiberglass with that stuff. But the, to carry these guys, what I do is, and the big reason that I carry them like this, I don't use an axe that much um, crafting. I just, I don't. Sometimes carving stuff, I want to use one, so I do. But these larger axes, like this guy here, is what I use for delimbing. I have an old Fire King or Heat King wood heater in my house, and I heat entirely with wood. My wife has a little electric heater that she puts right in front of her chair sometimes, but most of the time I heat with wood. And what I do, I fall a tree or I find it that's already fallen and I'll run down it with the chainsaw and cut the big limbs off and then I turn my chainsaw off and I'll drag the big bigger limbs out of the way and the smaller stuff I'll walk down through there and just limb it with the X and drag it all out of my way that way I'm not tripping over a bunch of stuff it's just more efficient and safer personally that's how I like to roll but all of my stuff I make so I can throw over my shoulder so it would it would hang, it would be like this. That's how it would ride across my back. And all it is, is I've taken and poked a hole in the mask and I put a lanyard through so the other side of my clip just clips right on there. And all these are, are really inexpensive Rothko, I think I got a, they're just Rothko shoulder straps. And they work great for this application it's got metal hardware on it it's uh it's a great axe uh, the majority of the stuff that i have um, is either council tool or hulk's burke those are the main ones that i i like to use uh my two favorite axes are council tool um those are my absolute favorite ones the the hulk's burke is my next in line I love Hulksburg stuff. It's it's uh it's got a good feel to it personally. And it, their stuff is sharp. The here is another small This was be what I would refer to it call a hatchet or feel like it's a hatchet. But this is the camp carver camp council tool. It's a sweet. Dude that got sweet. Bearded. 
It's got a good pole on it for driving stuff. It's a great pattern. I love it. It's beautiful. Cuts really well. Craft wise, like if I'm gonna go and plan on doing some stuff, uh, carving in this and that and other, I normally take my camp carver. I either take my camp carver or if I'm gonna do a ton of carving, I go up one size. This is a carpenter's axe. It's just, it's a little bit longer. This dude right here is extremely sharp too. The largest um, bow drill set I ever carved, I carved with this axe. And it was about, I don't know, six, seven feet long. And it had about a four foot spindle. And uh, we done a, a bow drill fire with it for our demo days in Watkinsville, Georgia. But I carved it with this guy. Um, blow it up. Sorry. I'm fairly close to the road in the backyard shooting this video. Um, this guy, this was the first Holtzberg that I got. And like everybody cried about it because I used a piece of flint. Dang, I'm getting the sun's setting on me here. But I used a piece of flint to do a flint and steel fire with the cheek. And everybody was like, oh my God. But I'm not sweating what my axe looks like. Like, and I got it by the way. It only took like six thousand strikes to get to get it to catch, but I finally got it. And for Adam Fry, um, what he was asking is he wants to see this set up. Like this. So it's the same, it's the same setup as my other boys axes. So it would hang across the back like this. But what I do is I have a couple of these pouches like this guy. And the way that it works is it just slides off the handle like that. It slides right down on the handle. Well, picked a good spot to set up. Sun's going down. Being crazy with the light right now. But anyway, it goes just like this. Yeah, I got it backwards. This way. So the zipper is up. And it would ride a chicken coming up on me now. It would ride just like this. And what I do is I keep a tourniquet on the outside and a first aid patch just so if somebody see this, they would know that this has first aid in it. I keep a, keep a little file for just in case. I keep a little hank of paracord. I got uh, some dressings and a SWAT tourniquet and the reason I carry a SWAT tourniquet is on top of a normal cat tourniquet uh, a child cat tourniquet won't work so if for some reason or a dog you know hopefully I don't ever cut my dog but uh, this will work in addition to um, or as well as a cat tourniquet so I just keep a couple first aid items in there and I keep a poncho and a mylar blanket and a small pocket knife and a lighter in there just for extra goodies and a flashlight and then all that just lives in this guy beep and be just like that and then once I put it on there, once I slide it on, I just take the other end of my strap. 
put it on there like that. But I'm gonna finish up with uh, this dude. Right now, this is this is my favorite axe right now. It is the Council Tool Flying Fox. And it's on a straight handle instead of a contoured handle. They use these for throwing hatchets a lot. But I just love this. This head is, I'm digging it. It's a great, great chopper. Holds a great edge. Um, you can find those at whiskeyrivertrading.com. Uh, as well as the mask, you can get them there. They come in a bunch of different options handle wise. I think I say a bunch, maybe two. Um, but for Council Tool, those guys, Brandon and them are my go-tos for axes. They, they're, uh, they're good folks. But anyway, when it comes to axes, I have kind of, I have a style that I like that works well for me. And that's what I stick to. Like I said, I found, found what works well. So I'm going to roll with it. But Adam, hope that helps, buddy. Seth, here's you some axes, buddy. Um, I appreciate the support. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all later. Thanks.